In this update, we're digging up treasures of the past. Keep watching this video and we will tell you how you can get your share of the discovered riches. Let's cover new armaments first, as you will soon start encountering them in battles. If your robots got hit by a missile out of nowhere, it's very likely that Erebus roams this battlefield. This insidious sniper waits for the right moment and literally disables its opponents while staying away from their guns. Will it be the primary target of all orbital strikes? We'll see. For now, enjoy some action in our robot overview here. You can now light up the enemy positions with Prisma lasers. Their destructive rays deal more damage at a greater distance, however, they are very weak at point blank. It is somewhat of a risk, yes, but imagine how great it would feel to get Canyon or Springfield in map rotation. Now, it's time to get rich and famous. Well, technically it's only these two who get famous, but we all can win something by investing in their endeavor. Jet Parks and Ricardo Gonzalez are searching for artifacts of human civilization on Earth. Jet is a foolhardy adventurer who is always looking for trouble. Ricardo prefers a more cautious approach and will never pick up an unnecessary fight. By the end of this event, one of them will salvage more antique treasures than the other. And it all depends on you. Choose your side and support one of the treasure hunters. If you guessed right, you get a big juicy reward at the end of the event. If you guessed wrong, you get a smaller one. But you don't lose anything in any case. You can help either Jet or Ricardo by playing on some particular robots. So you won't be just an idle bystander in any case. In a couple of days, we will announce the start of this community event, the details and the rewards on our social media. You will need to be a subscriber on at least one of our official pages to participate and receive the reward. By the way, YouTube will do. Press subscribe and wait for us to post the application form in the community section. Apart from this friendly competition, the event will have the usual array of tasks to help you open the event chests. Be sure not to miss this retro edition of Revenant. It's long out of production, so who knows when you'll be able to get another one. Also, keep an eye out for this drone, Barrel. This floating bombshell will explode as soon as your robot gets destroyed, damaging everyone who happens to stand close. Jets and Ricardos of the future will have nothing to salvage from your combat machine. While our treasure hunters were preparing for excavations on Earth, we dug up and fixed some old bugs. For example, the retribution rocket launcher on Hades got fixed and now never shoots blanks. Of course, it's only a small portion of what we have fixed and optimized before this release. As always, the bulk of the work goes unseen, and it would take us hours to describe what we mean by various optimization tweaks. But we try to have them in each and every update. We are always ready to tell you more in our community updates on Reddit. We'll leave an example link in the video description. Join us there to stay updated on everything that happens to war robots. And finally, let's take a look at this absolutely beautiful HD graphics. If your device is powerful enough, you can already turn them on in the game settings. Some of you can even enjoy them with 60 frames per second. In future updates, this option might become available for more devices. So, let's wait for the event to start and see you on the battlefields, Commander. Gonzalez is gonna win, by the way. Nope, it'll be Parks. I've seen the requirements, and there's literally no way that Jed wins. So what? I've seen them too, and I think in this matter, it's going to be Jed. And lower leagues, they count as well. Well... Steel Parks. You simply like his story, right? Well, I think this might be the best way to pick sides, yeah. We'll see, we'll see.